Hello buns and welcome back to Behind the Bun, our vlog series. And it is a beautiful day in Charlotte, North Carolina today. I decided that for this vlog, I was just gonna do a couple of days in my life, but I have noticed that a lot of the Easter things have been popping up in stores, which means um, bunny stuff. So today we are gonna go to Home Goods, we're gonna go to Target, and we're gonna pop into a few more places and I am going to find all of the best bunny things. I also really wanna make these Pop-Tarts, but I'm trying really hard to find like a bunny the word cookie cutter a bunny cookie cutter so a few things there but a very very bunny centric vlog finding all of the bunny things and also like it just feels like spring outside it's like 65 and sunny in the middle of february and i just want to take advantage of the swarm so let's go shopping drive the same roads every day we both get there our own way this and an apple tree How different two souls can be But we both grow from the same sorrow If we both know we'll be together tomorrow I can be like a tree deeper through the longer I'm away from you okay I am back and I was quite successful on my little bunny shopping spree. I will say I was very disappointed in Target. I got, I think, one bunny thing from there. They had a lot of spring stuff out, but as far as like cute bunny spring items, <clears throat> okay, cinnamon. <laughs> I figured I would do a little bunny haul of what I got. Uh, I'll start with Home Goods, which is where I got pretty much everything, but. First off, I got this beautiful little bunny statue. I actually have one from the same brand that I got last year from Home Goods. It's the thing that's sitting on the little side table in Cinnabon's room. But I saw her and she had the loppy ears and I just needed to get her. So I figure I'm gonna find a cute spot in my house for her. She's pretty neutral and so cute. Next up from Home Goods, I got this adorable little bunny like jar vase thing. I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. I think I'm gonna use it for a vase for like setting the table. The dishware that I have is like cabbage and leafy like this. So I feel like this would actually look really nice when I'm doing like place settings. So I figure if I host a little dinner party all during the spring and honestly like with my stuff I have, it can be used year round with a bunny. This would be really nice just to put some fresh flowers in or maybe some fresh greenery. Another beautiful find from Home Goods is this jar. Look how pretty this is. It just feels very classic. I love it with like the green and it just like has like a, almost like an antique feel to it a little bit. I think it's so pretty and my thought is I think I might put some of Cinnabon's treats in here and then I can actually keep some of Cinnabon's treats on the counter and not shoved away because it's just so beautiful. I can actually display it. So this next one is a little more silly but I think I will have a use for it. It is this precious teacup. And if you look carefully at it, there's a little bunny on it and then there's a little saucer as well. But is this not so beautiful? Without giving away too much, I have like a little tea party planned for May that definitely has a bunny theme to it. So I already have a set of teacups and saucers, but I figured I could add this one into the mix. None of my teacups match, they're all different. So I figured, this could just fit right in. So another useful thing I found were these really cute bunny reusable containers. They are so pretty and they're microwave safe. We just don't have enough like Tupperware here. I feel like we can always use more. And this is so pretty. So especially I feel like if I'm bringing something to a house, Brian and I actually have a date tomorrow where we're gonna be packing food. So like this is much cuter than just like boring Tupperware. I mean, come on, 
so cute. I was also successful at Home Goods in finding a bunny cookie cutter. I actually found this whole set of cookie cutters and I just picked it up because it was so cute. I think for the pop tarts that I want to make, I'm going to use this one here because it seems pretty simple, but this is adorable. There's two separate bunny cookie cutters. There's a little bird and there's even an egg, but like this is literally just a circle so I can use this year round. So this is great. I literally don't own a cookie cutter, so I'm thrilled that I now have two rabbit cookie cutters. So that's everything I got from Home Goods At Target, I literally just got one thing. I needed to get other stuff there, so it was fine. But bunny-wise, I just got this. And it is this really cute hand towel, and I, I could not resist the bunny with the cotton tail. I mean, come on. To pack a two, it comes with this really pretty, like, pink plaid. I mean, it's so cute. And then the last place I went is actually a place near me called Brass Exchange. I think it's a local shop. I think there might be like one other, but I don't think it's like a big chain. I popped in. I love them. They have really cute home decor and I was in the area. I found these two stunning little stone buns. Oh my goodness. Look how cute they are. This one, she's standing so alert, so cute. And then this one, She's just sitting, being cute. I could have just bought one, but I felt like I couldn't break up the set. Look how cute they are. They're so beautiful. And because they're stone and not like super pastel or anything, because I have a bunny in my home, I feel like bunnies are kind of a year round decor item around here. That's it for my bunny haul. I love literally everything I got and I'll check back in with y'all later. Okay, so now I really, really, really wanna make these Pop-Tarts. I'm so excited. They look really easy. It's pretty much just like a puff pastry and then jam. So I actually have two different types of jam. This is a homemade one that my manager actually sent me. It's a pear ginger jam. This one is just a berry one from Trader Joe's. And I thought it could also be fun to use honey. So I'm gonna make a couple and we'll see if any of them turn out good. <laughs> Good morning, it is the next day. Bryant and I are about to embark out on our activity of the week. We each try to do like one Charlotte exploring thing a week and we alternate who plans. So my activity of the week that I'm planning this week is we're going to a place called Treehouse Vineyards, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a winery with tree houses, which sounds so fun. So we are about to go to that. I packed us a little picnic to bring. Cinnabon will not be joining because she is underage and cannot drink wine. Also, she'd be more comfortable here, but that is where we're about to head off to. Are you sad you're not going to the vineyard? Yeah. Let's go. We're currently about 30 feet in the air in our little tree house. It's so cute. Literally like there's the tree. We walked up these creepy stairs. There's Bryant. But yeah, and there's the vineyards. It's winter, so things are not quite alive, but it's so pretty. And we even have this cute little inside area. I have our snacks. 
And just literally the tree is like built in. This is so cute. We have the little, they aren't really Pop-Tarts, they're more danishes, but with little bunny danishes I made and I'm using my bunny bowls. Monster trail mix, which is the best trail mix in the world. Some cheese. Mm -hmm. We have a Bryant. Hey. Hi. We have popcorn, our wine. It's just so stinking cute in here. We're already an hour into our two hour reservation and I'm sad, I don't wanna leave. I know. It's so cute. Me neither. This is ours now. We were saying that we, um, we were saying we were lording over the vineyard because we're above everyone and I don't want to go back to ground level. I want to continue to lord. Muffin, we're home. What is up? How have you been? I missed you. I know. I'm like, where were you? We were gone all day. I missed you. Yes. You're such a good girl. Oh my god. That was so cute. That was so cute. I'm... What are you, girly, what are you doing? You are, okay, are you excited? I have treats for you. So we have been gone all day. After the winery, we went and saw uncharted the new movie with tom holland it was so fun but i got a package in the mail from the well-kept rabbit that you can see cinnabon's very excited about i'm trying to order cinnabon some healthier treats so treats that don't have oat flour in them just oh my god she's going insane right now just because um with her recent stasis episode i'm just trying to keep her diet as like natural and healthy as possible this is papaya which papaya is good for digestion these are roots so there's dandelion root i think there's burdock root yeah there's a few different types of root there's just a really good like natural tree and they love them and good for their digestion and then some pineapple which also aids digestion plus it's just yummy come on up and stay good girl good girl good girl yum chewy figured these would be a good healthy treat so she could be spoiled but I can still know that at least there's some healthful benefits to them. So I think that I'm going to end the vlog here with little Miss Cinnabon. I hope that y'all enjoyed this little look into our life. I hope you enjoyed the little shopping haul and just some of the fun stuff that we got up to this weekend. It was really, really fun. It was lovely catching up with y'all and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, buns.